Welcome to Ank. 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 Oh well. Um, um. This is a point and click game that I have played a bit. I mean, like, less than an hour. Something like that. But, I don't know, it kind of seems nice. And for that, this will be our next awesome adventure. Let's see what kind of story we are about to face in ancient Egypt. We're almost there. Over there, we have to go, what, left? Watch out for those death traps. Let's go up there. Now all we have to do is pull this lever, and here it is. The Scarab King's Tomb. Nice place. You could steal the key from your father more often, Asil. Come on, hand over a beer. Damn, we've forgotten the bottle opener. Oh well. Who's going to tell the first spooky story? Erm, um, don't you think it's spooky enough in here already? You don't believe in ghosts, do you, coward? For me, it was spooky enough to come up here and tiptoeing over all those traps. Jeez, we didn't step into a single trap, we didn't meet any mummies, so there's really nothing to worry about. You have desecrated my tomb! Let's see, six broken urns, that means... A warning! It was seven! Um, oops. Seven? Well, in that case, you're in for a death curse. Okay, now try explaining that to your father. At least we have a bottle opener now. A play of light and shadow, the city's just waiting for you. Fate and traits and tasty scorpions under the eye of the sun. Left to the Nile and right by the desert, that's where Egyptians have fun. Yes, this is Cairo, it's all magic and sand. With the greatness of culture, but it's all in your hand. Ooh, with the guide of the gods and the girls with their beautiful hair. You prepare, but beware, take care. Ship the pharaoh, go meet the crocodile. Fill a lonely by a slave in the city down by the Nile. Yes, this is Cairo, it's all magic and sand. With the greatness of culture, but it's all in your hand. Ooh, with the guide of the gods and the girls with their beautiful hair. You prepare, but beware, take care. Asil, could it possibly be that yesterday you took my keys? Uh, yeah, well... If the pharaoh finds out, he's going to go bananas. Dad, I've got worse things to worry about. I've been cursed by a mummy, and only the pharaoh can uncurse me. A mummy's curse? It's time that you grow up. You just want to sneak out of your punishment, but that won't help you. You're grounded for a week. An entire week? Dad, I might have just a few more hours to live. I don't want to hear any more excuses. This is pointless. Damn it. In a few hours, the curse is going to send me off into the netherworld. And the Pharaoh is the only one who can lift curses. But if I walk through that door... 
My father will definitely do worse. How do I get out of this situation? Good shot, Black Eye. You go first. Me? Now you go first. Hey, this is my chance to escape. Today must be my lucky day after all. So, this game... <clears throat> um, it's a funny one. So to speak also, I don't have to choose what to do with the objects. I can just click. I'd rather run around naked before I put that rag on again. Yeah. Bizarre summer party. Live band. Liza and the sand beetles. Nice decoration. It's standing there so innocent. It's standing okay. there so innocent. Had to test if um, right click and left click did the same, the same thing, and yes, they do. An old family heirloom. It's become a bit stubborn lately. Hmm. A gardener's masterpiece. So. My grandfather acquired that one in Thebes. So this game has a lot of stuff to look at. There's so many things. One day I'm gonna have my own room, and then I won't have to put up with that snoring anymore. Dad's famous horrible traps are all created here. But... You can build hundreds of skew monuments with these sketches. But... This, at least from what I played, this game has some... Grim Fandango feel to it. Huh. Completely useless in this condition. Oh. It's held in place by an old brush that has lost all its bristles. An old brush without bristles serves as a support for the vase. Okay. It can only be opened by brute force. Oh boy. Probably plans for new deadly death traps. Okay, so... There's no way oh. I can go out there right now. Can I actually run? Yes. Good. Playing point-and-click games teaches you one thing. Maybe this piece of decoration will help me escape. Always double click. Oh, where am I going? This window ah. won't help me escape. <laughs> yeah. This is what you get if your father is an architect. This is what you get if okay. your father is an architect. You could store lots of things in here. Can I? Although they are stored up here, the rats really like them. Hmm. Baskets. Nice basketry. This is my way out. But how can I get there? Okay, so we need to... Do something with this in order to get there. Okay. Uh, there. There. Actually, does the keyboard do anything? No, I don't think it does. My grandfather acquired that one in Thebes. There's no way I can go out there right now. Can I take the... I can't, I don't remember how to solve this puzzle. What do I need to do to Ivy makes you sleep Ivy makes you sleep well. Or so I've heard. Hmm. A gardener's masterpiece. So there's not that many items to Nice. I hope there aren't any mealworms inside. You could store lots of things in here. Yeah, I don't think I can... This is what you get Wait. if your father is an architect. Lever. Where? This one can be moved. This one can be moved. This one can be moved. This one can I mean, be moved. Lever. This one can be moved. Can you? This one can be moved. This one can be moved. Hmm. Uh, 
I'm kind of starting to remember this might be a hunting game. Oh. Oh, right click actually just do something. You could store lots of things in here. Okay. There's a silver coin inside. That could be useful. Well, time to steal everything and break everything. Hey! The vase has unjammed the mechanism. Oh, I didn't even know it was stuck. I'll take the clothes hanger too. Okay. A clothes hanger made of bendable wire. Father's Sunday robe. Completely useless in this condition. Not a lot, but everyone has to start somewhere. I'd rather run around naked before I put that rag on again. Hmm. What else is there for me to pick up other than the vines? Fine. Nice decoration. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's about it. I hope. What else can A I... A clothes hanger made of bendable wire. Can I... I don't think that'll work out. That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. I can use this as a rope. And then can I... That doesn't seem to work. Dang. Kinda thought I'd make a hook. Freedom, here I come. Woohoo! Don't worry, Black Eye. I don't think that any danger awaits us inside. Ah! Maybe I was wrong. Um, uh, excuse me, uh, what exactly is going on in there? I think you shouldn't go in there if you value your life. But we're fierce mercenaries after all. Right, just got our diploma yesterday. Well then, at least we're going to take care of you. Sounds like a nice warm-up. Hmm. Also, this game <laughs> does remind me of Seville. Hmm. So. Who was desperate enough to hire you two clowns? It was the Pharaoh. Psst. Man. But if we're going to kill him anyway. Hmm. Do we have to? Hmm. What do I have to do to get rid of you? Get rid of us? <laughs> but we're the ones who want to get rid of you. I think we can make a little exception if you'd agree to pay a small price in exchange for your life. Let's say 20,000 silver coins. How does that sound? Uh, <laughs> well, you can have one. Uh, I only have one silver coin. Well, it's not much. We're about to start. Thanks again and have a nice day. We've got some business to take care of. Okay. What have I done? I have to get my silver coin back. Well. Supposedly he's an assassin. I don't feel good with him around. You again. Hello? Can you give me my coin? Hey, give me my silver coin back. Now why? Now we can finally get something to eat. Uh, but if we go, the architect might run away, don't you think? Oh. Right. Oh, what a sticky situation. How can we be in two places at one time? I mean, I can go get you a subway or something like that. No problem. You guys go grab some chow and I'll hold down the fort. You may be good at jumping through windows, but how are you at cutting throats, eh? I have my doubts. Fine. Oh, man. There are two of you. One of you can go, and the other can stay here. Hi. 
Look at that twit. He'd eat everything himself and come back empty-handed. But leave him here, standing around by himself. He wouldn't be able to keep track of the architect even if he was stepping on his feet. Hmm. How about the famous Kala Couscous? Kala Couscous always burns the couscous. I'd sooner starve than eat that. <laughs> hey, I could grab you guys something to eat. Oh, you'd do that? Yes, yeah, sure. But I'd need to have my silver coin back for that. Oh, of course. Yeah, so you can take off with it. First the job, then the dough. That's the way it works with assassins. Yeah, but I don't have... Wow. Okay, I'll see what I can rustle up. Fine, now go. Okay, so get them... Food... Up. There it is, up there. The Pharaoh's Palace. That's where I have to go. Hmm. Can I go back in? The lion's den would be quite fitting right now. Fine. Well, let's go to Bazaar. Welcome, young man. Welcome to the Great Bazaar. If you ever need some help, just come to me. Okay, so... Can you tell me how to get to the palace? Just go through the bazaar and then take a left. Uh-huh. Can you tell me how to get to the pharaoh? To the pharaoh? I don't think that these snobby guards are going to let you pass. They act the big shot all the time. But lately, we saw them running. Running like rabbits all over the place. So even they seem to be afraid of something. Hmm... Could it be a mummy? Or maybe God? Osiris? Because I know... What's the third game in this series that's called Battle of Gods or something like that? So yeah, there should be some... Egyptian gods. Where can I get a tasty meal? At the lower market, to the right of the big plaza. You can get fish burgers. They're pretty okay-ish. And if you like wine, it's sold at the stairs leading to the plaza. Hmm. How can I leave Cairo? There's a little ferry down by the Nile. But first, you should know where you want to go. You shouldn't simply trust the ferryman. Well, that's my opinion. Okay. Well, <laughs> I think I'll be fine. Thanks, but I'm getting along just fine on my own. Oh, no problem, my friend. Huh. And I can't talk to her. Oh, I can. Good morning, Asil. Nice of you to drop by. Wow, what happened to your hand? It's a really awesome tattoo. Yeah. Hello, death curse? Ring a bell? Yeah, there was a lot going on yesterday. Yeah, but the chicks are gonna be all over you, man. Well, just for a little while at least. <laughs> Your unending sympathy comforts me somehow. Oh, quit whining. My grandfather supposedly beat 27 curses. Oh yeah? And how did your grandfather deal with it? Well, he jumped off the palace wall with his one remaining leg. Maybe it was just an accident. He had gone blind by that time. Gone blind? But the blindness curse had its good side. He didn't have to see his seeping sores anymore. <laughs> Can you help me get rid of this curse? Help you? Wait a minute, that would mean try to get into the palace, probably mess with the pharaoh, and after that, most likely trouble with the gods. Mm, let me think about it a minute. No thanks, and I mean that as a friend, of course. Besides, I can't take off from here anyway. My sick father's business would be ruined. Do you want to buy something? Mm, sure. What do you have? Well, 
I have cured rattlesnake meat from Abu Simbel, or these really cool Cleopatra shower curtain rings, and brand new Sphinx head trimmers. Ooh. I always wanted some shower curtain rings. Just a sec. Oh, I think they're all spoken for. How about the trimmers? I'll take the hedge trimmers. Oh, wait, we just sold out of that one. Cured rattlesnake meat? Why not? Hmm, now that I look at it, it seems to have gone bad. I mean, I could still take it. Don't you have anything special? Okay, I haven't offered you any of the really good stuff. Like the treasure map. Because you don't have any money anyway. A treasure map? It leads to the greatest treasure in the desert, but unfortunately, I can't really sell it. Why not? Because it's so valuable, you would have to give me a pile of gold for it. Okay, so I have to find money and pile of gold. No, wait, food and pile of gold. No problem. I'll scrape together the money somehow. Okay, I won't hold my breath. So can we just look at her? Claims to sell important things. Okay. Exclusive secret treasure maps. I don't, I don't think it'd fit into my room well. Fine. Can we talk to the old lady? Or steal this? The boat that has it all. Take the river taxi. She's carrying her bag all around the bazaar. Hello, young man. Have we met before? Oh my... Mm. That actually just reminded me of... There's this old lady walking around the neighborhood. Who... Well, I've met her a few times. And every time I... Well, every time we cross paths. She just asks if she knows me. And I've seen her do it with other people. She just wanders around asking for if she knows anyone. Not quite like this, but oh well. May I help you across the street? But I don't want to cross the street at all. I'm just doing some shopping. Ah. Hello, young man. Have we met before? I'm your long-lost heir. Guy Albrusha? But he went to sea and never came back. And none of my family would wear a bottle opener as a necklace. Hello, young man. Have we met before? Sorry, I thought you were someone else. Have a nice day. Hmm. Come to Giza, the new family paradise. Well... Wait a second, is that a candy? Oh, hello there, pretty girl. Let's see what I can do for you. How about a charming summer dress? Or maybe something rustic? I also have underwear in stock. Panties, bras in all sizes. I even have a dressing room. There's one that would fit you just perfectly. Stop! What? Oh boy. So, I have to go... Gerudo Link in this game. I need a bra, but triple D, please. Oh, really? Oh, I wish I had some better glasses. But I don't see any clothes, just cloth. Unfortunately, something bad already happened yesterday. I went over to the fruit stand to buy a few yummy melons. And suddenly, as I was checking the melons, well, it, it turned out <laughs> they weren't melons at all. They were, you know, uh, they were the market woman's, um... Well, anyway, my cheek hurt for hours. Yep, yep, some supple, juicy melons. You should go to the optician before something really bad happens to you. Hmm, 
Hmm. Yeah, my tailoring business is in a crisis right now. Either I've started to lose some of my tailoring talents, or my scissors are garbage. <laughs> Why do you have scissors? <laughs> so, what's wrong with your scissors, then? Uh, honestly, I think they're dull. I need to have them sharpened again. I mean, sure. I can do it. Exactly. That's my job. That's great. Here are the scissors. When I could still see things, I would walk down to the Nile to sharpen my tools. Well, good. Can I... I don't think that'll work out. A hopelessly blunt tool. It's empty, but there's a label on it. Super laxative. Works almost as good as dead fish. <sighs> so I gotta give that to the... Assassins. And? Are my scissors sharp again? You could ride to Baghdad on him. What a pity. Hmm. Last crocodile handbag sold. So, so, so. Can I steal some? Yes. Closed due to illegal banana trade. Can I squeeze this? A bit scruffy. On there. That doesn't seem to work. Can I? I don't think that'll work out. I don't think that'll work Fine. out. So what kind of fruit bowl am I making? Rather not. I'm not so much into rotten fruit. Not the freshest. That doesn't seem to work. Hmm. It's seen better days. Can I use it on him? <laughs> Come by. That doesn't seem to work. Uh, <laughs> combining melons with tailors. Uh, can I go there? No. Can I go there? I know that's home. Can I just give them fruit? Maybe. A bit scruffy. Combine lime. Well, uh, we'll take something to eat, but we won't take that. Next. Well, uh, we'll... Oh, no. It's seen better days. Well, uh... Give me back my... stuff. And? The finest delicacies. Okay, then give it to me. Huh. Now, I wonder if I screwed up. Also... Hmm. Is this the... It says, I solve problems. Well, I cause problems. Wait! Don't say anything. You're like an open book. You're uh, from the uh, IRS and want to collect my last dime. Wow. And I thought we IRS agents were perfectly disguised. No, wait. It's all becoming clear. You, you uh, want to sell me a subscription for a tattoo magazine. Exactly. Just one silver coin for a year's subscription. You, uh, collect donations for Alcoholics Anonymous. Your premonitions are lousy. All right, I admit it. 
I used to be a much better clairvoyant. That's why I became a personal and uh, business advisor. How nice. You don't have to know much to do that, and you still get paid. I'm having a little problem with the death curse. Oh, no. You don't have a problem yet. Come back when you really have a problem. I mean, I have a problem with this. I don't think that'll work out. I don't think that'll work out. That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. Well, let's talk to the ferryman. Hey kid, everything okay? Nice heap my ride, don't you think? Yeah, a real dreamboat kid. <laughs> What'd you need? <laughs> doesn't anyone speak proper Egyptian anymore? Damn kid! There ain't no such thing as proper Egyptian anymore. Anyway, there's nothing that could be called proper in Cairo. Kid, the streets rule in this city. What do I need? Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Oh, so you want the usual. Back when the pyramids were being built, you could get stuff on every corner and a girl on every other. Then you'd stumble into the first bar you could find and bail out songs until the next shift on the pyramids started, kid. Those were the days, kid. But now, sex, drugs, and rock and roll, you can see what happened. Proper gangsters had to become river taxi drivers. So, where to? Um. I want to see the big wide world. Hey, I'm not going anywhere unless you tell me where to. The Nile's a hard stretch, you know what I mean? My boys got caught in a dive by shooting, comprende, muchacho? Come back when you know what you want to see. Okay, okay then. Oh boy. I really don't like water, not only because I can't swim. Hmm. Okay, so that explains why we can't do stuff. Wait, stinky fish? It's too slippery. I can't grab it like this. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't think that'll work out. That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. I don't think that'll work yeah. out. Yeah. Now that's ugly. Okay then. I think actually. Never mind yet. Hello, sir. You're in the right place if you have uh, something particular in mind. Leather clothes? No, occult items. Artifacts used for contacting the gods. I just noticed... Wait, is that an Ankh you're wearing around your neck? Could it possibly be the Ankh? Um, I thought it was a bottle opener, actually. A bottle opener? Uh, yeah. <laughs> of course. For a second there, I thought it was... Oh, never mind. I'd pay you for that bottle opener. Hmm... Something tells me I should hold on to it. As you like. I'll get it one way or another. Uh, I mean, I'll get out one thing or another that I think you might like. Maybe we can do business later. I know every nook and cranny of this city. I'll definitely be of use to you. Okay, now. Now we may end this episode. So... On the next episode, let's see if we can find some something to eat, like this. Olga's fish burgers. Hmm. So yeah, until the next episode, bye bye.